On a previous video, I had won three storage auctions for a grand total of about $52, which included a dump fee. These units were a mess. They were a disaster zone, but I still think we can make a profit from these three units. These, there was a lot of stuff in these units, guys. So today's video is going to be a small journey of looking over the items that we found, see if we can make some money. So let's see what we do today. So in one of the units, I came across all the Sensi stuff. And I got pretty excited because I know Sensi stuff sells pretty well. But unfortunately for me, <laughs> this whole middle row is empty boxes. Now I swore I saw this in the unit. I just didn't know where it's at. So um, <laughs> it's, I'm going to just probably end up hanging on to this one box here. And it's probably just somewhere in my garage or one of my trailers. So the rest, we got some garbage here. And we got some nice... These are all brand new, by the way. All stands here and bases. We've got some lights down here. Um, light bulbs for the Sensi stuff. This stuff here is, from what I was looking at, they weren't new, but they're complete. Um, these three here. So you, you look these Sensi um, tart warmers up. They're pretty, pretty pricey, no doubt. Um, this one here is missing the top. I just looked on line to see about a replacement cost for it. It was like 15 bucks, so I'm just going to probably just sell that locally for a buck or two. Um, this came out of there, and I think this is a Walmart tart warmer. This will sell locally. Here's what we have here now, this mess of samples. So we have all different types of Scentsy flavors. It looks like for um, this lady must have been selling Scentsy. So there's quite a bit of them here. I think I'm going to lot all the smaller ones up. Then like the medium sized ones up. We got some here that are brand new in the package. Looks like one exploded at the bottom there. But there's quite a bit here. And um, I think we'll do pretty well with all these. And um, you know, just a lot of this is just kind of this bonus stuff. Um, I had no idea these were in the unit until I started digging through it. So let me show you guys this next little batch. All right, we've got some more candle warmers here. These two are sensi, but we're missing the tops here where you put the, the liquid in. So Again, I could buy the replacements for them, but they're ten to fifteen dollars shipped. No sense in doing that. I might just one. I might just let these run in the sale one day, and if they don't sell at the end of the day, I'll just pitch them because unless somebody can jimmy rig something, um, we've got one here that seems to be functioning. Uh, also, get another one here. So maybe five or six bucks total and all that. Not too bad. Well, there we go. Now, what flavor are you throwing in here? Luna. Luna. Oh, I, I see we kept some. Only a few. So here we got some problems with these. these are, they're all cracked from the heat. And then we've got some down here that are used. I'm probably just going to lot these four up here. These three are brand new. We'll do a lot of that. I already just did a lot of the mini ones. And then these, I mean, they're all cracked there. I guess if I describe them correctly on eBay, there's quite a bit. There's uh, four, eight, there's ten. Ten for eight bucks. So I might buy it. Let's give it a whirl. So along with the amplifier, there was this subwoofer box in here. That explains it all, doesn't it? And it's got some stickers on it. Right, Kita? And uh, what we got to do here is just get the stickers off. And the cone on this is in good shape. It's not pushed in or anything like that. It's a Rockford Fosgate uh, P2, it looks like. So we got the wiring here. And then when, once I get the stickers off, I'll just test it real quick. But these things are usually pretty solid. And, um, but, you know, you never always <gasps> test things to make sure that uh, they work before you sell them. What do you think this will sell for, Kita? How much? 50? 40? It's thundering, so she's all scared. What does Bernie say? <laughs> so I called my buddy Wild Bill over to take a look at some of these pretty crazy marijuana pipes and bongs. Obviously, I can't sell these online, and I don't think I could sell these even locally, maybe on the low low. So, uh, pretty much gave him the bill and said, Hey, man, if you know somebody that can flip these, let me know. All right, so we have these items here that are left in the unit. Uh, kind of mystery. We have a three drawer system here. Those are cheap plastic drawers, these are worthless. I have a very hard time selling these plastic uh, Sterlite items, so usually I just pitch them. But there's some mystery to these, and there's a, they're filled with a bunch of stuff. Um, we got the dog here. What are you? I got my gloves, so we're going to go through that. Then we also have this. Vintage Series, eight, eight years. Sounds like there's something in it. So let's, uh, 
Let me turn the camera on, guys. We'll open this up and see if we can find some treasures. All right, so let's save this for last. See what's in there. Let's go. We got uh, Kita here. She's interested in what's in these. Ooh, an iPhone 6. Is it in here? No, <laughs> just a box. So those are worth a little bit, nothing crazy. Uh, what do we got here? We've got some pills. Where are they? I don't know how to sell them on the street. No. <laughs> we'll end up... Uh, there's a center right down by the police station there where they, they take medications and stuff. Um, we've got a lighter here. I got a trash can. What is this? Trash can here. So I'm just going to pitch this up. It's trash. Little, little Mr. Coffee Maker. Looks like somebody's using it for like a crack pipe. Look at the bottom of that. <laughs> throw that out. All right. Well, it looks like we've got some kind of toolkit. Eight-in-one light-up screwdriver. That's kind of neat. A buck or two locally. Ooh. Some kind of heart thing here. Looks like a top to maybe a jewelry box. Not sure if that's silver or not. We'll have to look for a little further at it. There's some corrosion on there, so I doubt it. But uh, what else we got here? Ooh, that's pretty. A little necklace here. A little bling action. We'll test that for silver. I doubt it is. I can tell right there at the bottom. It's kind of tarnished funny. So two bucks locally. What do we got here? Not sure what this is. Oh, it's some kind of like Dremel. See that? A mini Dremel. Some kind of, oh, wait. Manicure and pedicure tool. Maybe that's worth something. Uh, probably going to be local sales there. Um, colored pencils, some kind of block. Turn that out. What is this? Kiss us? Kiss stickers? I don't know what that is. KissUSA.com. Trash to me. Uh, it looks like it's all like nail polish and stuff here. We got cigarette. Hey, you got another lighter. Does it work? Yes, it does. Makeup, that's trash. We got some kind of charm here. Nothing crazy. Ooh, what's this? Some kind of stopper to something. That's pretty heavy. Huh. All right. Got a bunch of nail polishes in here. Oh, what's this? Got some kind of chain. Got a chain here with a heart on it. We'll test that for any precious metals. Doesn't appear to be quality. And we got some personal photos here and some Akai Berry sleeping masks. Come on, Silver. Give me some some precious metals. Not sure what that is. It's just this is just like a junk one. Like somebody just threw a junk in here. Oh, we got another brooch. Oh, this one looks appears to be nice. Check that out. It's pretty solid. I'll have to see if there's any markings on that one there. What else? We got another lighter. Does it work? Nope. Oh, oh, nope. So we have lots of Oh, there's a ring here. Nothing crazy, just costume jewelry. Not real. But that's, uh, that'll go my ring thing for local sales. What else? Oh, there's another ring. Ooh. see any markings on this, but we'll test it for silver. Might be worth something. There's more necklace here. What's this? Q-tip. What is this? Uh, we got a penny that's glued to something here. <laughs> Gotta save the penny, Mike. I got it, boys and girls. All right, some kind of necklace there. 
test that for silver. So we're, we're up on some jewelry here. Nothing crazy that's going to get us a Ferrari or anything like that. Right, there's more pennies. Q-tip. So let's see if I can spot anything else that's kind of just chilling here. We got here, friends make Christmas merry. 2018 ornament. Uh, anything else? Looking for a gold ring. Oh, I've got maybe the rings in here. It's the Holy Bible. What's in it? It's the Bible. I'm not sure how people can read that, but I don't know. Maybe some of them might want that. That's kind of a cool pendant. Check that out. So I'm just browsing through here. I don't really see much. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna empty all this out here, guys, and we'll open up the next drawer. All right, time for the second drawer. What we got here? Ooh. Some uh, test strips. Let's see. They expired. Expire. Oh geez, they just expired. Uh, 10 of 2019. So maybe we can still sell those, maybe we can't. Look further into them. There's one, two. Contour test strips. Three of them. And we have here. Oh, come on. No way. Louis Vuitton. Got it on the, on the zipper there. Just from the looks of this, it doesn't appear to look like it's super quality. I don't know. You guys tell me the stitching looks pretty nice right there. The insides this appears to be well made. It's very hard to determine some of this stuff, guys. If it's real or if it's knockoffs or replicas, what everybody wants to call it. Um, if this was real, this, this is a hell of a find. Uh, so maybe you guys leave me a comment down below. What do you think? Is it real? So it says Louis Vuitton Inventor. And uh, maybe it is real. Maybe it's not. Let me know. That'd be awesome. All right. Rockford Fosgate 6x9 grill covers, which we found a Rockford Fosgate 10-inch subwoofer, but I haven't seen these speakers. But maybe maybe somebody's interested in buying these online. Maybe there's, there's a broker and they need them. All right, we've got a Emerson remote. Something on the back that's trash. Got a little Magnavox remote here. Maybe that's worth 10 bucks. Some piece Stay Extra Sparkle earrings. Those will be a quarter piece. What do we got here? Kenneth Cole reaction. Come on, react. I want a reaction out of you, Mike. Nothing. Uh, it's in pretty rough shape. I'll sell for a dollar locally. And again, it looks like we've got more nail polish. Again, I've said this in previous videos. I sell nail polish. It does pretty well. I sell them in lots. Another rock. Let it go in my rock pile in my backyard. What else we got? Little jewelry. USB charger. Or no, that's a car charger for a phone. That's a buck if people buy that. Uh, I really don't see anything else in this box. What's this? Some kind of charm. Doesn't appear to really be anything. Just throw this in a uh, junk drawer lot. I got these bins of beat up jewelry. Uh, just throw them in there or sell locally. So yeah, there's nothing really in here. So I'm gonna clean this one out, guys, and then we'll open the last bottom one, and then we'll open up that box. All right, here we go. Bottom one, here we come on, we need some cash. Oh, you can. What is you can? Evolve plus two in one kit, missing some stuff. Maybe some kind of vape thing. Let's some accessories to a vape pen. Yep. So, I don't think that's worth anything. We got some vampire makeup. 
Ooh, we got a video game. Xbox One. Ark Survival Evolved. Is it in here? Of course it isn't. <laughs> Let's see if we get some candles here. HD Designs. Made in Hong Kong. $10 retail. Any Christmas ones? Man, I'll sell that for a buck. And coming to the end here. Got a kind of hair straightener, maybe. A buck. So nothing crazy here, guys. Wow. Uh, the only hope is uh, the Louis Vuitton. And I'm actually going to wait until you guys see what you guys think. My guess is it's, uh, it's a knockoff. So let me just empty this out here. And we're going to grab this last box, open it up. And hopefully we can find some something in here. Man. Here we go. Ready? Toro. Vintage series, aged eight years, Cameroon wrapper. Are there stogies in here? Oh. Okay. Visine. This appears to be smoking stuff. Here's a nice ring. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's nice and heavy, too. We'll test that. Let's see if that's worth anything. And we got a lot of pennies. We got one diamond here. Oh, what is this? What is that? Some kind of slide? Like slides back and forth. I don't know. Maybe we got some resin in here. I don't know what that is. So, uh, yeah. At least we got some change here. Not enough to go get a pop. <laughs> So uh, overall here, it's, it's kind of a depressing opening and veiling. And um, yeah, what we'll end up doing here, guys, is uh, the next video, we'll just end up wrapping up everything and showing you guys how much money I've made off this unit. But uh, yeah, that was kind of a disappointment, no doubt. Another happy customer sold a hat and two movies for six bucks. Come on, people, stop and shop. Stop and shop.